Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Ross and Miko. This is Ross. Yo, yo. And I'm... <laughs> As some of you may have seen on Twitter, if you don't go and follow us at It's Ross and Miko, not at Ross and Miko. That is technically us, but we can't access that account anymore. You'll have seen that we're uh, going to be doing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney at Law Trilogy or something. Let's uh, head over to uh, the gaming screen and get this started. But before we do, I promised uh, special guest voices. There's too many characters for just Ross and myself. We've only got like three voices each. Hello, hello, special guest. Would you like to say hi? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. There's the introduction. It's messy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I like that you have to completely guess who this is, what the tone is. Yeah. But... My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> uh, despair. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It seems like he Jeez. wants to die. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mia's observant. Or what is missing? now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts? I will. <laughs> a bit Welsh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so oh, I guess um, to be pain, it's up to you guys. You got to. I suppose I should. Ready, Your Honor. Oh, I was going to say it should be me, yeah, but then I'm both. arguing with myself. I don't know. Mm. The prosecution uh, is ready, Your Honor. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. That's true. It is. <laughs> well, you're... <laughs> you're doing great, well, Judge. You... Thanks. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? Murder. She died because she was... <laughs> Wait, the judge is going to Ah, you got this. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Right, oh. be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. I don't know why she, her voice is completely... She, she's got a bit northern now as well, isn't she? <laughs> infected, oh, we've right. all been infected by the north. It's, some, it's something about the room. Northern gas has been released. <laughs> the victim was a model but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Mr. Sarit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not the murderer, I tell you that. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left door to have opened behind him thinking it's strange i looked inside the apartment and murdered her i mean <clears throat> then i saw her lying there a woman not moving very dead i quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside i thought to call the police immediately and definitely did not murder her however the phone in her apartment wasn't working it was so sad i went to a nearby park and found a public phone i remember the time exactly it was 1 p.m., not a minute over. The man who ran was, without doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Now, I think we're all agreed here that um, Butt should also go to jail. Oh, yeah. Just because his name's Butt. For his own protection. Not awful or person. He... What did he do wrong? They weren't, they weren't a couple. Temper. He was So he was basically uh, um, being a creep, right? And also, <laughs> he's just way too emotional to live. So. No. <laughs> You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes. It was 1 p.m. for certain. Oh. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy <laughs> notes the time of death at some time <laughs> after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh, you know, nobody to... You, you, you're a liar. <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh, uh, sweaty times. Oh, that. Uh, um, uh... Objection! <laughs> this is... Hey, this is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. 
Would you care to give your testimony again? Do over, do over, yes, please. It, it was 4 p.m. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, whatever that lawyer said, uh, yeah. <laughs> you see, when I found the body, I heard the time, I heard it. There was a voice saying the time. Uh, it was probably coming from the, uh, the television. <laughs> uh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? So uh, I guess the victim must have been watching a video mm. of a tape program that just constantly set the time. We went, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Terribly sorry about misunderstanding. <laughs> Never mind. So it's got to be something to do with uh, uh, the, the TV, right? So it's a power the cut, wasn't it? Oh Sorry, yeah! I'm spoiling it for you. No, spoiling no, no. It. We're we're a team here. This is what I need. Otherwise, I'll I'll get confused. <laughs> was that from noon to six p.m.? Yeah, there we go. Present. I'd like to see how I get out of this one. Hold it! Was it was battery right operated. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't have heard a television or a video. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't <laughs> hear the time. When I say hear, I, I meant saw, <laughs> as in with my eyes. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yes, I seem to remember that when I murdered her. Yes, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Yes, that must have been what I saw. The murder weapon, which was the clock. Am I saying this now? Even though I know that. Yeah, okay. that wasn't the murder you saw weapon. A clock? I guess that would explain it. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. he's happy. Objection! Yeah. Wait just a moment. Let's... <laughs> the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Huh? Tell me that. <laughs> Where does it say the time? <laughs> you, you with your objections, with your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just the best damn lawyer this side of the room. Just answer the question, <laughs> Mr. Sowett. Hey, I, I, I saw it there, okay? It's a clock, it's a clock. Oh, Your Honor, you. if I may. Yes, Mr. Penn. Well, as the witness stated, the statue is, is indeed a clock. Uh, the neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. <laughs> my apologies. Oh my god. I'm calling bullshit, Mr. Payne. <laughs> <laughs> so the murder what? weapon was the ta was a table clock after all. Mr. Sowett, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable. Since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. That's so why you were so her. certain about the time, yeah? And it went 1 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll remember that. She needs to fix her clock. Well, she can't mm. know, but. Well, it might have been 1 p.m. when he murdered her. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, her, her no. clock was behind. Maybe it's because she was in Paris. Maybe she took that clock with her to Paris. That's why he murdered her. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jack! laughs> what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless conjecture. Baseless. What are these words? <laughs> Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sow had heard was definitely this call. I don't think I thought that through at all. <laughs> Effect which is clear if you simply... Oh, it's going to take two of my health away. Examine the batteries. Ask the neighbors try sounding the clock that's probably the best bit right it's gonna say go, something stupid all... like squash banana santi santa squash <laughs> yeah. banana oh this is my rafiki clock my mistake beep i, I, I think, think it's, it's 825. what oh because it's the thinking the uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. mr payne can you tell me what time it is now it's 11 25. <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Soward heard and the actual time of death. While it may <laughs> seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. <laughs> How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. 
Right, right. Can you stop? Right, right. right. <laughs> she loves that. <laughs> the victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Oh, there you go. I oh, love taking my really heavy clocks with me on holiday. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. We're in the past. Oh, Yay. I hope I rip off more of my hair and thrive. <laughs> oh, oh and oh, we killed him. Right. Good job in there. I feel like you did all the work, if I'm honest. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. You're damn right you do. <laughs> <laughs> I fought all your battles for you. Yeah. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. <laughs> that was my mistake on my first day of lawyering. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I underestimated the evidence. I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. Oh, I do, I do. You, you want me to hold evidence for you? It's another one of those up the bum calls, is it? <laughs> Sharp uh, as oh always. Well, I hope not. I prefer when they're blunt, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> there's a oh, no, There's a lot of buzz about the oh, I do trial. like when there's a buzz. I enjoy that. <laughs> ah. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. <laughs> It'll be muffled when it's up there, love, I tell you. Oh, it's not working, that's lame! I had to take the clock work out. It's all right, so it's not a clock. Well, there's there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yeah. Oh, that is that me? It's question mark. Wait, is there a third there's person a in on this conversation with the question mark? I think so, Two I people think are named question mark might be someone else. Yeah. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good, like... Burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Now, oh, Miss uh, Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed like the stinker thinkers. by the time you're done with it. <laughs> Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. shit, she's going to... Oh, whoa. Oh, not again. Oh, I've been murdered. Oh, that is not no. the voice for Maya. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, she, she looks good for her age. No one looks that hot dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And, and you... <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes she asks me to hold evidence up my mum for her. Police? <laughs> Please come quick! What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. Oh! Ma! She's staring right at me. I think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding Would a you phone like this in clock? her hand. There's a large building across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. The uh, Watergate reference. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? See my Dick Gumshoe? This word Maya here. Mean anything to you, Maya? Um, oh, that, uh, was that, that, that's my name. With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name, her own sister. K -k killer, I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to prison, <laughs> ma'am. What? what? I, oh, no. Oh, dear. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Sorry, <laughs> not a chance. I don't know how this game works. If we say not a chance, no. that would be funny. But is that, would we move on to the next chapter? Or do we ignore all this? <laughs> that's fine. Let's find out. We've got to find out, right? Maybe if I joke a bit, oh, she'll joke. cheer up. Oh, it's a joke. Oh. Ha! Ha! No way, Jose! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One of my jokes. This is like my jokes at a funeral. <laughs> there was my joke. Your partner's oh, yeah. first time in court. Oh wow! Really? How'd that go? It was a fucking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, I fucking hate talking to myself. Yes. What's with that outfit? <laughs> <laughs> you look Jeez. fucking dumb. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! Oh, let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to put things up my bum for evidence. Evidence? Bum? That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest. 
Oh, me and Martin, the spice is secret. I must have. Do we want to go get the good lawyer or do we want to go meet uh, Pinky Boob? Boobness. What is this pose that she's doing? <laughs> Why? It looks like she's ready to fight in the like 1850s. No, that's when a that when a lady is cute. She does uh, they, this. They, uh, they adopt uh, rabbit poses. That's what if, I'm doing wrong. Yeah, if I yeah, spoke yeah. to a girl in a bar and she was doing this, I would in rabbit probably poses. stop talking to her. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I hate her. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, observe. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I hate her so much. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well... I have an OnlyFans. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, who wants to take it? Missy? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Go home. Oh. It was a few days later when I found out the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. <laughs> well, there you go. That was, that was did, fun, wasn't it? <laughs> did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. Not! Not! And so this black knot! I can't let that happen. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. I sure can of you. <laughs> oh. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? <laughs> that was the it only was thing I... bugging you this whole time? Yeah, none of this. We need to get this April May woman to get out of her hotel room so we can go and uh, take her screwdriver. Oh, okay. Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy. <laughs> There's a screwdriver sticking out. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Mmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? What happened to the court record? I don't think I can add things to the court record from stealing them from someone's oh, room. Oh. No, I don't think you can. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll go to BRB yeah. for a BRP. Pop up our drinks, get ourselves together. We need to go and defend Maya Hihi uh, and get presumably April May in jail. Um, so we're going to hear from April the... April May. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna get June, July, August, September, and all the other it ones. <laughs> it took you an astounding amount of time to find that funny, Missy. That's... <laughs> you introduced her name about an hour ago. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map on the office to explain what's going on. All right, there we go. The body was found by this penis oh. here. <laughs> hey, there it is. And the cause of the, uh, and the, cause of the death? A uh, lot of blood due to being near a penis, sir. Uh, the murder weapon was a statue of the Tinker found next to the body, sir. sir. <laughs> it symbolized here by a small triangle. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon. It wasn't pointy, sir. It was not a triangle was. I don't know why I drew a triangle. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm. Right. Hmm. Using math, I'd say... Three minutes, I think. That's pretty fast. Almost as fast as when you press the button. Our motto uh, this month this is month. quick to respond. <laughs> Other months is not. It's different every month, you know. We got different models every month. We got, what was your motto last horse. month, Detective Gumshoe? It was ride a horse, not a car, because we were kind of, uh, you know, we were riding lots of horses last month. Okay. And what is it yeah. next month? What's it going to be next month? I'm not privy to that, but I think it's going to be... Don't use the toilet. That's it. Ooh. Stop right there. Whoa. The, Just takes the, wind's, for <laughs> <laughs> the witness's opinion. You say that the victim, Mia Faye, wrote this note that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. What? Well, well, I did one of the lawyer tricks. Of course she wrote it. Who else could have done a letter? Nobody writes letters. You have a backwards, detective. What? What is this backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. 
Uh, that autopsy report is outdated, your honor. W what? The person's dead, it no longer counts. The person is buried. An autopsy performed yesterday at quest. New autopsy. Is this? If anything, that's so deep. Death was almost immediate due to almost immediate due to blow. But mm. there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. Yes, yes, that yes. I received these results. Mm -hmm. No way! And this hotel is directly across from the fame law offices. Mm, that's right. I'm not seeing that. Then the woman with long hair. She kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. <laughs> Every little bit too witty. How do you know she was the defendant? She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. <laughs> look, look, look I, what I do with my I hands. I just know, okay? <laughs> If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Right. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. This is my lawyer defending me. <laughs> and I'm no expert wow, on fashion, but her hair just looks far from wrong. <laughs> Good lord. Your girl's gonna leave this with a complex. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of those things. If you saw her, you would have commented on how weird she yeah, fucking looks. Yeah, she's weird. Quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that. I'm, I'm really sorry for getting you on this to do things like that. That's This isn't right. Made, Made by Larry by Butts. Larry Butts. <laughs> Take that! It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. <laughs> what? what, what? A friend of mine made that clock. The one and only Mr. Larry Butts. I want to kill myself. Impossible. <laughs> Everything in the is next sold room. in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a oh. better excuse. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, too sass. Too much sass. Roll the sass back. Judges do not like too much sass. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Or heart spinning. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh no. Oh no. Ang angry bit back. Wow. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? <laughs> that stupid cop doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Right, oh, uh, rhubarb, rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Fane's phone, were you not? Witness, answer the question. Did you tap a phone? Miss May. Me, you not believe you. What gives you the right to talk to me? Oh, you, you lawyer. <laughs> She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Lovely to see you, Muff. Welcome in. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Right, so, I'm um, ready, I hope. Uh -huh. If she was getting given coffee at bang on nine o'clock, how did she see the murder happen at bang on nine o'clock when she was apparently looking out the window at bang on nine o'clock? Oh, you fucking nailed her, Missy. Let's go. <laughs> See That's when you murder you. seven people, you you, you Ross, know these things. Ross, what? what? I told you that in secret. Sorry, so no <laughs> doxing, no doxing on this channel. <laughs> no doxing. Could could be anything. Now this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Bed making. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ancient the, sewer works. Oh, the bed. <laughs> What did he say about the bed, though? Like, it was perfectly made. It hadn't been slept it in. It was very well made. Like, it hadn't been slept mm. in, yeah. But that doesn't matter, right? Room service. Check in, right? This is what Glow was getting on at. Check in. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. Sure. All of the men in this are just... Like, what is, uh, or we're not allowed to say Simpsons, which are we? I just did, no. but within context. But, like, that, like, every, every man's horny as hell. Is that better? They're Thirsting. thinking with their dicks. I've never played one of uh, these kind of games, right? I've never played dating sims, never played any sort of anime games. And there's certain, like, uh, 
prejudices and stereotypes that go along with those kind of games. And I thought a very mainstream successful game like Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney um, about a lawyer would probably avoid a lot of those pitfalls. But I was wrong. That's what I've learned. Mm. Excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Look that up later. Well, I'm not without charm, sir. But even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. Her lover. <gasps> what did he say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, er, uh, rather, quite. Bell boy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss Me check in with another person? Ah, uh, I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. I like how the judge has gotten more and more fed up with the uh, the proceedings as this has gone on. Like, Objection overruled. Your Honor. We have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hope that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Ah, uh, and who, Mr. Wright? Uh, who is this other person? Uh, yes, yes. Simple. It was the man with Miss V. <laughs> The man who checked in with Miss May. Oh. Uh, Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. But uh, my, what, what a convenient little setup. But it's, uh, yes, yes, too late. Too late? Look that up later. Mm. I mm. suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. After yes, all, yes. it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <gasps> Oof. That is all for... Yeah. That is all for today. <laughs> <laughs> a little hairball. That's what happens when you get a big mustache. Be your beard, like, you get hairballs. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. I don't know how much good this will do to me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavements and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. Point for oh, effect. To be continued. Perfect. That was good fun. That was, um, yeah. That's the way you you do that, right? Not, yeah. Not one of us. I, not two two of us, but more no. than us. Maybe not four only, of us, three of us. Not only because it was good. Amazing. Yeah. Not only because it made it easier for us because uh, we'd both get bored with the reading and stuff, but also it just it was just fun. It was it was just a good laugh just having someone else in. Um. So yeah, no, I definitely think we'll uh, we'll do that again.